what's going on you guys welcome back to the channel i hope you all are doing great i know it's been a while since i posted again i've been having excruciating teeth pain or tooth pain should i say for this past week even i ended up in the dentist and setting up a, a day to get my tooth extracted but besides all that i've been doing pretty good and right here behind me as y'all can see right here i finally got the enclosure for the turkeys now let's go ahead and check it out all right guys so here it is and no this is not going to be the whole enclosure i do plan on making a run i want to put a fence right there by that pole and bring it out a little bit we're still working on it and big shout out to my dad who's been helping me with this I could not have done this without him because this was really confusing actually you guys we got some more tweaking we got to do we got to fix that down a little bit and as y'all can see the wire that it come with is like this plastic chicken wire which I did not think would be good for the main frame of this thing but I am going to put that stuff on the top and I'm going to have a tarp over it, which it came with a tarp. I don't see that at the moment. But I decided to take the same fence that I have for Quacky and the Gang's pen and just wrap the bottom of this. So hopefully that will keep out the predators or anything that could be sneaking up at nighttime. I want to put a bar right there in the middle of that thing so they'll have a spot to roost. So, yeah, you guys, it finally came in. I'm getting it all set up. I did not cut the grass in there because I figured the turkeys would like to munch on it. And they'll mow that down eventually. But I am going to keep these guys in this enclosure for, I don't know, three days, maybe a week before I even let them out. I mean, I'll still let them out, of course, while I'm watching them. But I just don't want them to fly away. I want them to know that this is going to be their new home for them sending them from inside to out here i just want them to be secured here's more fencing we got right here this is what i plan on making the run with now i don't know how far out i'm going to be able to make it i am going to have to move my song swing set and all this other stuff and by the end of this video you will be seeing me bring the birds out and put them in their new enclosure and see how they like it but yeah, you guys, this is really cool. I really love it. Really nice. See, we got it all zip tied up. We still got some work to do on it. We were kind of under a rain delay, and I just wanted to make a video on this real quick because I told you I'd keep you updated on the birds. So yeah, you guys, really nice. All right, guys, so... I'm going to turn y'all back on when the birds, when I'm ready to bring the birds out here. But I wanted to say, if you raised turkeys or if you raised wildlife and you've kept them similar in this type of, you know, enclosure. And if you got any tips or anything for me, I'm really open for all suggestions or anything. So if you got any other feedback that you could probably help me out on, just leave them in the comments below. I greatly appreciate it. But right now, I'm going to go ahead and finish this up, and I'll turn you back on when I'm ready to put the birds in the new enclosure. All right, what's going on, folks? Giving you all a little update. What's going on here? As you all can see, we got the roof on right here. We still got to patch this little hole back here in the back. Got the zip ties on. And let me turn you all around here, so... We got everything strapped in. I still gotta cut these little ends off on a few of them, but we got the chicken wire for the roof. We're gonna put a tarp on that. And we still have to patch this little backside right there. So it's coming along. Now I was thinking you guys, since I got all this right here in the backyard, Thinking about putting a run behind the coop, and if worse comes to worse, we can just move it or flip it around or something. That way, I don't have to worry about messing up the yard anymore or, you know, tearing up what we got here or moving a bunch of stuff around just to put the run. So, 
with this open space it's a little mushy the grass is kind of soft from all the rain but hopefully I can make it to a way where I don't have to worry about that but yeah guys I just want to give you all an update real quick it's going along really good got a couple more steps to do and it should be completed really nice I'll give you a wide shot on it so there it is I still got to get the roosting bar in there, get their food and water straight. It's actually supposed to rain, you guys, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to bring them out tonight. This video might run into the next day, but I'm going to try to do my best. It depends on the weather. As y'all can see, it's kind of cloudy out here. It looks like it's going to rain. But y'all stay tuned. Give y'all a little update on this. It's going great. Turn you back on in just a minute. what's going on folks it is currently the next day and we finally got this thing completed we got the back end as y'all can see go on in here we got the mess shop got all the zip ties cut and ready to go now with the zip ties i will be getting more heavy duty zip ties just to secure the rest of the enclosure because i don't think these little thin things right here are going to work for too long so i will be doing that i got their water and their food set up i got it elevated off the ground so they're not pooping in it or walking in it or anything like that now for the ones who watch my videos you know that i have george which is my baby duck with the turkeys since he has been housed with the turkeys and he's still small, he will be going in here temporarily for with the turkeys. Now, you're probably wondering, Mikey, ducks don't roost. They're going to need a house. I know that I got it all under control. I'm going to be getting a house for George to put in here for the time being until he can get big enough to go over there with Quacky and the rest of the gang. I am going to be putting the two baby ducks in there today. I need to get them fresh water and food and all that good stuff. Now, as you can see, I still don't have a roost bar. Now, for tonight, I'm not going to be too worried about it because I don't think I'm going to let these birds sleep out here overnight. We do have thunderstorms rolling in tonight, and I don't think I want to expose them to that type of weather just yet. I still got to put a tarp on. But in today's video, we're just going to bring them out here. It's a nice day for now until, I mean, we got clouds rolling in. So we still got a couple hours till the storm. And we're going to see how they react to all this. So you guys stay tuned. And the next clip you're going to see is me bringing them ducks or the turkeys and the duck to their new enclosure. Come on, come on, come on. Y'all got it. Alright. Come on. Come on in there. Check it out. Come on, George. Look how big George has gotten you guys. He's starting to turn blue. Come on, George. Get on in there, buddy. All right. What y'all think about it? Yeah. You just want to lay down, getting warm. Look at George munching on that grass. You're loving it, huh, George? All right, now, y'all, here's your water. Here's your food. Y'all doing big bird things. Sun in their cells getting warm. How do y'all like it?
Well, there you go, you guys. They're finally in their new enclosure. I know it took a while for me to get it and get it up and everything. I hope you enjoyed this. I will be doing more videos on these in the near future. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and smash that like button for me. Drop a comment down below. Um, share tips with me. If you got a hush. If you have any experience on farming or raising animals or birds such as this, please give me some tips. If you have them, I'm always open for suggestions. This is my first time having turkeys. So drop a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Catch you on the next one and peace. What are y'all doing? Well, they got crazy right when I was closing off the video. Going to have to get y'all some shade, huh? I got to put that talk up so that I have some shade. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm gone. Peace.